a curious witcher wizard always reaps the rewards, but sometimes you need a little help and that's where we come in. Hey there friends, my name is Kodiak, this is Legacy Gaming. Today, we're diving into Hogwarts Legacy and helping you track down and unlock the mystery of all three major Hogwarts secrets. Let's start off with the simplest of the three secrets that only require one early spell and a reasonable memory. For this, we'll need the Confringo spell. On your map, select the library annex and use the divination flu point. Run down the stairs to the main hall and head out the large door on your left. Behold the bridge and the setting of Hogwarts' first secret. This is a simple matching game, but first we'll need to reference the key located on the ground. You'll see four images and numbers corresponding to each pillar with a brazier. First things first, make sure to equip Confringo as we'll need it to light the braziers. Now let's check out the key again. The triangle at the top is associated with one, the circle eclipse will be two, triangle with a circle will be three, and the diamond will be four. The task here is to first light the brazier as this will activate the mechanism to adjust the numbers. Then interact with that mechanism to align it with the numbers corresponding to the shape. Do this with all four and the key in the floor will open up, allowing you to descend and pick up an unidentified legendary from the ornate chest below. Congratulations, you are one secret down. For secret number two, pull up your map because we're heading to the south wing and then using the clock tower courtyard flu point. Here you'll need two spells, which are Arresto Memento and Aloha Mora. To unlock Aloha Mora, you'll need to find Gladwin Moon, the Hogwarts caretaker, located here. He'll kickstart a quest to unlock the base level spell and its various upgrades. We have a great video already up on the channel breaking down exactly how to do this, so go check that out. Once you unlock the door to the tower, climb the stairs and stand before the giant pendulum. Take note of these four symbols, the unicorn, the owl, the dragon, and well, we have no clue what to call this last one, so let us know what you think in the comments. Each symbol corresponds to a door located in this area. The goal here is to use a resto momento at the right moment to slow down time as it nears a symbol. Then locate the door corresponding to that same symbol as it will open the gates just long enough for you to sneak in, but you will need to be quick as your spell doesn't last forever. For all the directions, we'll use our position in front of the symbols as our starting point. Slow the pendulum over the unicorn symbol. Go back downstairs and head to the far right corner of the room to find this door. Next, cast your spell over the owl and the door is conveniently on the same platform just to the left. Do the same next to the dragon and run just to the right of the same platform, turn left down the short stairs and find your next door. Finally, slow on the fourth symbol and quickly turn to your right and go up one flight of stairs. The first door will lead out to a balcony on which you'll find the final door. Let's get started on our third secret. Now, unfortunately, you're going to need two things here and they're quite lengthy in time and effort. First, you're going to need lock picking level three. Again, go check out that video I mentioned before. Second, you're gonna to need to have progressed past the third trial in the main story. This will unlock the gargoyle stairs, giving you access to the headmaster's office. Once you do return from that third story trial, bring up your map, navigate to the grand staircase, and use the trophy room flu point. Follow the stairs and corridors to the headmaster's office, but you'll need Aloha Mora level two to unlock the door to get out. And then, finally, Aloha Mora level three to pass through that final door. Congratulations, you've reached the top, but we're only here for a key to unlock the final secret. Grab it and head all the way back down until you reach the gargoyle hallway. Run to the end and insert the key. Bask in the epic unlock and reap the rewards for all of your hard work and diligence. Now, the reason we're all here, and obviously the most important part of this video, are the awesome cosmetics that come with solving all three challenges. Don't forget to claim these rewards directly from the challenge menu. You do have to manually retrieve them. Straight up, these are some of our favorite looks in the game, ranging from serious drip to downright silly. You can go for a swim in your new bathing suit, or perhaps don the headmaster's uniform. Or better still, channel your inner Ron Weasley with a pair of hand-me-down dress robes perfect for the Yule Ball. Regardless, the rewards are yours and you can rock whatever look you want. We hope this quick guide helped you solve all three secrets and saved you some time and some headache. If you appreciate guides that get straight to the point and you want more content like this in your feeds, do me a solid, hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing. 
Legacy Gaming has a ton more planned for Hogwarts Legacy, so stick around so you never miss a new video. I also want to invite you to join the Legacy Gaming community on Discord. We recently reworked our entire server, so if you're looking for a place to hang out, win free prizes, talk about great games like Hogwarts Legacy, and group up with friends, check out the link in the description below. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching, and play on.